Hi everyone, welcome back for another video on Star Trek Fleet Command. Now, a very quick shout out. We hit 300 subscribers already. Thank you for all your support. I remember when I first started this channel, it was only like 10 subscribers. And yeah, it has been growing over time. And yes, thank you so much for so deciding to subscribe to my channel. And I hope in future, I can continue to bring you more quality contents with you know great value in it okay now for this video for today's video i'm going to talk about something which i have been promoting for the longest time ever which is the auto farm technique okay for those of you who have not watched any of my videos before or new to the channel welcome and for the sake of you guys and girls okay uh, if you don't know what auto farm is basically the idea is to send your ship into a hostile system so that you know when Whenever you enter a hostile system okay uh, so what happens is you send your ship there and then you park it somewhere near the edge okay and then the hostile will come attack you and you try to survive as long as possible and while doing that you do get benefits from it okay now I've been promoting about the auto farm technique or strategy because it will help you in your own growth okay your personal growth in game and also with your alliance in terms of events okay and certain events you do need to kill more hostiles than the others out there and yes when an event so requires you to you know hit hostiles you can use auto farming okay and it will help you to gain those points and on top of that it will help you to gain faction reputations okay depending on you know which uh, faction you're more biased to and you are also gonna get loots from all these hostiles that you are killing okay so you'll be getting like latinums reallocation tokens blueprints repair speed ups okay you have build speed ups as well what else do you have you have ship parts components you have a lot of things oh you have faction credits as well and then you have independent credits you name it they drop it okay now it all depends on what level you know the system you are auto farming on okay so that's a basic idea okay now so what happened now is this is that i am no longer gonna do auto farming Okay, in fact, I came to this realization, you know, in the previous app whereby auto farming has become quite challenging because there are more people getting to my level and there are more people populating those systems that I used to auto farm in. So what happened was this, okay? And if you have been auto farming, you will also notice this as well that quite often a time you find your set up being interrupted as in you send your ship to auto farm on a particular system and then maybe a few minutes later or a few hours later and then it just stopped okay and yes time wasted and then it wasn't that fruitful as it should be and so therefore realizing this i have decided like five five or six days ago ish that okay fine i'm not gonna do auto farm anymore and so therefore i will move on to triple locking the factions okay now i think you will also notice this that i've been like you know locking two factions only and then now i've gotten klingon lock and i've gotten in lock in a wee bit over four days yes four days you can lock Klingon or you can lock a particular faction well that is if you put enough hours into it okay and it also depends on the server you're on and of course your ops level and then your setup well it depends on many factors but I'm telling you that I did it in four ish days okay and I've gotten Klingon lock okay now there are pros and cons to whether or not you are locking three factions or two factions or even with one okay and i'm gonna run you through with the things that you can expect when you lock three factions okay and the things that you're no longer able to do like you know the auto farming okay well you can auto farm in, in augment uh, you know, uh, systems okay but then it is not as uh long lasting because there are more people traveling in and out of augment systems that kind of thing and it also depends on the 
the server you're on, whether there are more players there, there are more active players there, there are players of certain kind, you know, whereby there are more PvP-ish or there are more of, you know, farmer kind. It's like you do your thing, I do my thing, I don't, you know, step on the tail, that kind of thing. Yes, okay, now. When you have triple fashion lock, okay, one of the immediate things that you would be able to see would be an event, okay, or rather if you're going on three faction, okay, it need not to be locked, okay, you will be able to see three of these, okay. Now, uh, one for each faction, and then what will happen is you'll be getting rewards of a different quantum depending on, you know, your reputation towards that particular faction okay so you'll be getting more you'll be getting uh yeah you'll be getting more points and on the most important part i believe is you'll be getting more credits okay because with credits is a currency and you can use it to buy certain stuff from the faction stores okay so this is one of the pros of having triple faction lock okay now why do you lock it is so that if you were to concentrate you know hitting on a particular faction for example if i hit federation Okay, what will happen is Romulan points will increase, but Klingon points will decrease, that kind of thing. So if you like go on and keep uh, not hitting Klingons, so your Federation points will increase, Romulan points will increase, but your Klingon point will always be at a negative, maybe 2 million. Okay, and that is not good because once you, uh, you know, then you need to find yourself like, you know, trying to balance like, you know, the points so that they are all in a perfect harmony, that kind of thing. Okay. Now I'm going to tell you like, you know, I believe, I found personally that the best way to approach this is to concentrate on one faction first. Okay. Concentrate on locking one faction first and you lock it at 10 million points. Okay. So for me, what I did was I concentrated on Federation. Then I concentrated on Romulan and finally I concentrated on Klingon. Why? Because once you concentrate on Federation, it will also give you points for Romulan. Okay, so they are like, you know, uh, Romulan is like tagging along. So it's like you get a plus one, a free kind of thing. So uh, yeah, I think it is like quite, it, it makes sense to concentrate on Romulan next after you uh, lock, you know, Federation. Okay, I've also tried this, uh, how to say this, this uh, setup whereby I've went all out on Federation and I didn't concentrate on locking Romulan. So I was accelerated and Romulan was like about, uh, I think it was like consort that kind of thing. And then it, it, it took a longer journey, that kind of thing to reach, you know, lock status, which is, uh, what's the lock status again? I believe it is respected. You see, I just got myself locked and then I can't remember the term. Okay, respected. Yes, respected. Okay, so I went, uh, I, I want to see this. Okay, go all out federation, lock it at 10 million points. Okay, and then you go to Romulan, lock it at 10 million points. And then you go to Klingon, you lock it at 10 million points. That is if you so decide to have three factions lock okay now when you have three factions lock you of course you'll be able to access to the fashion store okay and among some of the things that you would want to get from the store would be the fashion miners okay fashion miners now if you have not been able to auto farm you will definitely need to get this from the store okay because uh, auto farm helps you get these blueprints as well especially when you're auto farming uh, you know at uh, those level 30 plus systems okay they do drop them but it's not like uh rapidly regular that kind of thing but then you do get it like once a while okay so over time as you farm as you get more points in those systems okay you do get this kind of blueprints okay so you do need you know your fashion miners and i believe the most important one of them all would be the recruit tokens okay so uh you get this okay and then you get this as well okay so can you imagine that you have three faction lock three factions lock okay your federation your klingon and your romulan okay how many more how much more recruit tokens that you're getting okay now the good thing about having a lot a lot of recruit tokens is so that if you go to offices what you will be able to do that you'll be able to max out your offices much faster 
okay because of all these packs right here okay so if you notice this that i have actually maxed out spot i have maxed out bones uhura is coming okay and I have so much collected so far okay and you save this okay for events okay now once you have max an officer if you're not watched my previous video or if you don't know this you'll be able to access okay now this is only when you have maxed out a rare or epic officer and should you get another shot for that particular max officer what you'll be getting or what you'll be unlocking would be this lot over here okay and you call them as transporter patterns okay so basically you'll be able to get all these kind of transporter patterns whereby you are able to spend on the officers that you want to max next okay which is i think quite straightforward you'll be Khan, six of ten now it all depends on setup once again okay so yes so you have more faction stores to access to which means that you have more recruit tokens which means that it is much faster for you to get those faction miners those ship blueprints and especially you know maxing out your particular offices so that you are able to get those transporter tokens and not to mention that some events do need you to you know get certain shards like you know uncommon shards to get five points on mystical then you have the rare which is like uh, 10 and then the epic which is 15 that kind of thing yes we do have those kind of events and your three faction stores will help in this okay so yes that's the another advantage now uh with the introduction of the away teams there's also the other advantage as well because with more uh factions being locked you will have more choices on your events as well okay so you'll be getting you know events that are more biased to you know romulan to federation or to klingon okay but then the number of events do not change okay it all depends on you know your research that you have done in the array teams research tree okay whether you're getting like uh, five assignments four assignments seven assignments or whatnot okay so i've been getting seven assignments so within these seven assignments you may get you know sometimes assignments that are more biased to a particular faction okay for example this one which is towards the romulan okay you get that too and of course to this one too okay uh this is the klingon one you know i'm mistaken right is it or is it the romulan one i don't know where levis belongs to i believe it's the romulan one okay so yes you get things like this as well okay now uh what else now once you have uh triple lock all the factions or once you are uh actually not triple lock okay you can actually do this when when you are more like friendly towards those uh factions okay you do not ne need to necessarily like you know triple lock them but then uh yes because i'm talking about triple lock so i've been using or abusing that term like quite <laughs> a lot okay so yes once you have like you know uh three factions being good on your side then you'll be able to learn things like this okay it says USF klingons okay now uh what's so special about this even though you may not have like a uh, klingon ship or you don't plan to you know get more points on you know for the klingon faction now learning this kind of stuff gives you a lot of points especially the first note okay for example when you start off this research note okay a note for me it is like this particular item here so when you start evasive klingons this note which is now at zero 10 you start it you get much more points than 2 10 3 10 3 4 10 that kind of thing okay so you'll be able to get more points in terms of research okay and when you do that it will contribute to events like this okay if you have it over here the, your daily events okay so you have some events that looks like this okay so double research events which is good okay should you do it it is justifiable because the payout isn't that stellar okay it's not like the best thing in the world of sdfc that you should go for it because i have found out that when you are at lower levels doing all these daily events they might bring you more pros than cons but once you reach my kind of level whereby your selection is few and then your resources are limited as well 
completing this may not be the best like option out there even though you have dual events which you can kill two birds with one stone i said this before as well okay so that you know you can just focus on getting to 5k points and then you get this completed as well so you're getting two set of rewards that kind of thing okay so yes so if you have three factions that are good to you, you'll be able to learn new stuff okay from your research trees okay uh on you know the the combat station i believe galaxy has one two galaxy yep okay you'll be able to learn all this as well and yes you see okay cling on crystal miner you will be able to improve the mining speed of your crystal miner as well okay so yes i am now on a three fashion lock path i will not be able to do auto farming anymore except for augment systems or at augment systems okay and whether or not they are good or what oh yeah i forgot to mention this other than away teams your daily goals okay do you do get more stuff from me as well okay now uh Shout out to Zypho because he pointed this out as well, which led me to think further whether should I go on it or not. You'll be getting more of these, okay? And yes, you'll be getting three sets, okay? And every set will give you a certain quantum of reward. But what you really, really want from all these your daily goals, the rewards they are looking at would be primarily, I believe, would be the repairs, okay? Because the repairs, the speed ups are hard to come by you're also looking at credits you're looking at the tokens you're looking at so many things and having yourself on triple faction you know being good with them it will give you all this as well okay so yes pros and cons and then yeah what not okay even resources too okay so yes i hope you have liked this video i know i've been like <laughs> okay super long on this well yeah i just need to tell you you know what transpired and then how i am looking at things well this is like a top process thing so yeah if you have any comments feedbacks questions please post them in the comment section down below okay because uh when you do it will it give me the assurance or an indication that you know that people are watching benefiting from it and there are actually things that you know that you like to seek clarification and perhaps will give me even more ideas on you know what kind of videos to make for you especially for you to answer those kind of questions okay so yes i guess that's all for this video if you like this video do smash on the like button okay and if you'd like to hear more from me do consider subscribing as well okay and i hope that we'll hit 1000 subscribers one day okay so share my videos okay if you found them you know beneficial to your alliance your friends to your server okay and yes i hope that you benefit them and yeah see you in the next video live long and prosper bye